Good morning, YouTubers. All right, welcome to my BMW programming and encoding channel on YouTube. All right, today we're going to read out a clan car on uh, North Carolina, and um, we're going to square it. Then read out data, click read out data, and then we go like this complete identification. First of all, look at the icon is free, and there's it. All right, cool. All right, when this warning comes up here, just read it. All right, the ISTA workshop system is connected directly to the ICOM in the ICOM vehicle interface via LAN connection. LAN connection is an Ethernet cable from the ICOM plug into the laptop. Local air network. If this connection mode is configured incorrectly, communication problem could result. Therefore, the direct connection should only be used in exceptional cases. In this case, it is essential to observe the following note. Note, in the event of a direct connection between ISTA and ICOM, we urgently recommend that you establish a static network connection. If necessary, contact your network administrator. Let me just press this OK button and we go forward. This is a BMW F07. It's a 2010 car, but it should release after July. It comes out as a 2011 and so on. As you can see, the 09 there at the top right here, it show for September. So, you know, it will go in, it will cross over for the next year for as a 2011 model year. Okay. Uh, we can pause video for now when we wait. Call Era on my bread, Jen. Hello. Where's Era? Ready for rock and roll now? Yeah, I'm going to say the five members got up to four, though. I don't know. We're not going to look at what? Oh, yeah. All right. You just have to tell us here, so. Oh, Reduction on huh? account of over temperature. Oh, the CID. You turn off now? What? All right. Calculate a test plan. You know how to run this part before, or you want me to give you a tutorial through it? Just give me a tutorial. Give me an overall. I'll be coming and run none more than after. All right, party. Cool. Usually, when you're going through a test plan, you just click right here. Calculate test plan. It calculates the test plan based off of the fault code um, generated. All right. Energy diagnosis meaning that either the battery go down or, or the state of charge of it drop below startability threshold. So. It will set this fault code right here that says energy diagnosis. All right. And then this one has to do it now. All right. ABL, the type mean procedure. You click on this thing, filters right here, and it shows you right here that S SSP is where they are grabbed. If we want those to come up in the test plan, we can turn on functional description as well. ABL right here, this one that I turn on off, it means the procedure, fault elimination. I usually turn on every <laughs> all of them. Yeah, everything you need to come up with it. Okay, cool. It makes up all of these things come up. Here goes the wire diagram for the CID that pops up right there and so on and so forth. And there's a functional check of it as well. And also vicinity lighting that has to do with the FRM, ground, ground lights and so on. So usually we click on an ABL here and then we go like this and click display. Then it pulls up two parts of the screen. One part has to do with the procedure on the left and the other part to do with the wire diagram and the pinout and the functional description on the right. All right, let's just click the cycle bar where the time is at, and then we maximize the screen. To click on one era is to use the buttons at the bottom, zoom in, to zoom in, all right? And then that's it, all right? So if we want to make one side get bigger, we just click in the era, and then we click on this button right here. The bottom right says full screen. Then we can manipulate the screen by holding the left mouse button and move it up and down, and so on and so forth. Or we can use the legends over here to the top right, this right here, put the mouse over that. Okay and move it up and down. All right, you can try it with your mouse or with your keyboard. Yeah, my feet is okay. Oh, your feet. All right, no big deal. All right, these hyperlinks right here, let's just start with the one at the top right here. All right, let's just start with the one at the junction box. Junction box right here is Z1. This one is at the front. To know to know where something is at in the car, you can just look for a blue link and then you click on it and then it's going to pull up that era. Yes, and you also can click on the picture itself and it maximizes it and gives you a wider field of view so you can get a little zoom in close up as to where the item actually Yeah, where the item can actually be found. So, okay. 
So all right, that ZBE is right there in that area, okay? And then we can also click in the same area, click in zoom in. And um, we're gonna try to pull up also the fuse box Z3. Let us find out where Z3 is located. As you can see, that is it right there. It's a button. Can I trunk? Yeah. All right. All right. Then call it this right here. If you can, you see, you have two parts. You see those two things there? I'm clicking on it. Oh, Installation yeah. location. Then they have component description. Before you go ahead and do anything, read about the component description because in it it contains certain safety details that you should know, you know? Right. Very so it match everything. Yeah. Yeah. So it tells you that this is a power distribution, a kind of a power distribution. I call it the vehicle as a multiple internal power distribution boxes because of the special operating conditions under which the different fuse box also called battery power distribution boxes installed on the battery. That's what they call it, you see that? Battery power distribution box. Alright. And so on and so forth. So, um, this as a unit must be replaced and certain things in it can be replaced. So, you know, if it, if it gives a problem, it will force you to replace the whole thing and so on. Alright. So, you click on that picture there. It comes up with an um, um, a magnified view of it. And they click OK to close it off. And then you can scroll down. And then you look and so on. See, so there's a lot of things for you to learn. He said, right here, general yeah. note. That carry it as a match this. Why you said that? Well, yeah, 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 so much things to learn. Then, and then I just remember that I think he ended up like the most computers in the car, right? Yeah. yeah. So now that car will beat them. Maybe Tesla beat them? <laughs> oh, crap. Forgot about them shit there. Yeah. All right, read general notes. It says the fuse box must be replaced completely. I said the fuses cannot be renewed individually, okay? What kind of foolishness is that? You think people have money? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they need, brother. That's what they need. All right, this is the I base. I'm going to click on V110. It show you that there, there are basically four wires that is connected to it. You have one that goes to the DME right here. And um, it tells you where the DME is at. The DME is right there. Boom. You have an M engine, right? No. It's not an M. Is that N55B something? Yeah, there's so much things you have to take out of the way if you get to the DME. You see where they choose to put it? Right, it's part it get hot and get mashed up over time. <laughs> Gas generator, so they put it them wicked enough. That's why the DME them get screwed now. Over time they get hot and the solder get dry out, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, the solder get dry, it become cracky cracky. And then eventually you have something more miss. Fuel injector or something more kick up and you have to replace DME. And it, the fault code come up and say DME internal fault. <laughs> yeah, hey. and the fault code is enough. It's like, man, look like I'm like, okay, awesome. Things that shouldn't be plastic because I eat that plastic, they make it out of that. Yeah, yeah. I saw them do man, cause they want always come by the dealership to buy it. It's a, it's a, it's a circle of money, you know, cash flow, you know. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So, uh, this is we alternate, and now we alternate, and this one. I did this one, and this one. You click on the hyperlink there, man. Them things. Yo, click on the something yourself, now, man, and get used to the program, now, man. Sure. No, I listen to you, I listen to you, you know. But see, I alternate, and I want to read some of I listen to you, I listen to the teacher. Yeah, I listen to the teacher. 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 All right, and then pin assignment right here for the DME tells you. All right, I'm going to explain to you the pin assignment. Hold on. Look at the G1. Let me see the G1 battery. Huh? Yeah. It's an AGM. It stands for absorbent glass mat. Yeah. It allows the gas to be trapped inside of those mats inside, you know? And then they use this little hose right here to dry it off. Yeah, I see. So, um... It says the electrolysis process emits the gas, oxygen, and hydrogen. 
And you say the two guests are non toxic and so on. Alright, so a lot of things I can read up here about the component description of the AGM battery. Do you want me to save it and you can read it up later? No man, no man. Maybe it's time I know about that little bit. But we'll just go and look to where them say about it. It's going to be able to change the battery. Okay. Alright, boss man. Alright, boss man. Hey man, you better make your um I don't know, let me see if you can save this in the, in the folder. I don't know if you're dumb, you know, but you're a Jamaican man, you need to have knowledge in your skull. Yes, brother, if I win that, I'm still in my garage and I'm running, you know, because I'm going to think about that with you, you know. Come up, sir. I don't know, I'm in the garage before, you know. Yeah, you tell me that already. You tell me your marriage and everything gets fucked, you know. So. You tell me everything already. Alright, body. Alright. Intelligent battery sensor. You can read about this in a B110. You go to a boom and click on component description. You can read about this. This is, this is the knowledge that enough people feel to read it and don't know the wisdom of sort out them boy. You see? So you have to be careful though. You read it up. Let me save a copy of it in the BMW VIN folder. And then you can read up it later on and you get your head full up with your knowledge. Alright. Hey, you remember, you remember the white, um, oh, you never know the color, the white diesel. You know why, why we make a talk to the guy? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the man, you don't know where we go, but in the park, it's time going, and him come back now, and start it up. And it has two coats. It has a coat of normal pockets, so we don't know where we dash it. Yeah. I, in the go away, I mean, and him just come back, and still want to care of it. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, man. Oh, oh, what oh, is it? Alright, hold on there. Chris. Yeah? This yeah. have to deal with, as you said, so I realized something. This have to deal with because, you know, the car, right? You know, say this, this, that car don't charge the battery when the car are run. Charge the battery when you are deaccelerating them something. Oh, yeah. And what I'm saying, oh. like, say, it require it, it take the full power of the battery so that it doesn't do no damage to nothing. That's why I call intelligent dynamic charging some crap. In a your car? Yeah. Yeah. Like I can see it. It's in a dashboard. Yeah. It's show you when it charge the battery. Can we can drive and say don't charge the battery? Okay. I've been on that that been on that stand. And oh. normally every car we not drive that don't charge the battery, right? Okay, maybe because of the quad code that we have there. It could be that. And maybe the battery can be replaced with an AGM. Battery absorbing that, or you can put you can choose to put a standard battery there, a 90 ampere no, or standard, standard battery. Yeah, now for the standard battery, you know, yeah? the standard battery, you know, I was telling you that you don't care. Okay. That's the moment that's to make sure say, you know, let's be a rule. <laughs> yeah, man, so.
to show you something here. Um, component description. I was going to show you something about. I was on. Where was I? I was on. Component description. Let me. I click on something before, man. Or DME here. A quality. P, P, or pinout. All right. These are the pin assignments at plug connector A211 asterisk 1B. All right. A mean output, right? Right. Yeah, and E mean input. Signal is a all right. Whenever you see the connector and the connector to the DME, it is on, like on pin 2 here, right? So, let me highlight. This is an output. Speed signal is an, um, is an output. All right. And, um, It is that what diagnosis socket? Oh yeah, yeah. Speed signal output from the diagnosis socket. I don't know. Usually I'm pin two, but I don't know if it goes to pin one on the socket itself. But I just don't know where. All right. Hybrid engine activation, electric change of valve, exhaust block, and so on. A mean output, and then anything have to do with E. E is input. A slash E input, on the uh, input output right. on the same wire. You got it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very good. Cool. You got that one, so you're, you're, you're school on that one, right? Cool. Now, enough people don't understand the type or what it means, so I'm not going to really tell them. All right, M mean ground, terminal 31. Okay, so... All right, installation location, blah, 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 component description, blah, blah, blah. Digital motor electronics, blah, blah, blah. All right, we are going to go down the night again and look. This is part, then put that right underneath the intake. That's the intake on the full. Right, that's how it's shocked by the right vessel, right? Yeah. You can't shocked get out that little thing. If they want to work, that means say no, brother. Hey, the BMW people are wicked. Uh, one bag of work, particularly me, you have to, you have to, the, the customer will about at least two grand. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Yeah, because we pay for the certain but, things, man. You know, the intake on the full is supposed to be cool enough, but it still can't cool because it's an engine compartment that will be hot. Yeah. Because BMW or any car, when you have intake, yeah, you want coal air intake. Mm. Yeah, because you want coal air for, for mixing the gas to be separate and get a good combustion burn. Uh huh. Them usually put the DME, them, and that's what they carry them on top, you know what I'm saying? Top of the arm, uh, when the flood can't reach it, and then with it. Alright, I'm going to continue now. We're going to run a test now. We're going to run a test. This is the aim of the energy diagnosis to determine the possible causes of power breakdown due to an empty battery or power plug with a weak electrical system due to a discharged battery. Battery very well are caused. 200,000 kilometers correspond to what? 1,200 miles. The energy diagnosis procedure analyzed following conspicuous information from the vehicle. Battery very old or faulty. Go to display or detail information instruction on diagnosis code. Go go to display. Go to display of display. Alright, where that now? Detail. Sorry. Nope. Not that. Routed the people. And this is another thing to store them store them things. So you can read this in your one time. When Rina saw us. Hey, wrong section, wrong section, wrong section. Eh? Yeah? Go back. Yeah. Go back. You put that around, please. You sure? Yes. Yeah. No, man. Once we click in our ear, I'm going to hit, man. No, you, when you click, if you go up and print screenshot, if you go up and print that, it jump back up. Oh, oh. Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Me see. <laughs> oh, you're very quick on that one, man. Yes, brother. It makes sense, brother. All right. The wire dagger, we can save this right as well. Print documents. Oh, we have a color on it now. 
Um, you know, so where are they? Yeah, where are they? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me try to find out about them probably. All the Jamaican. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let me continue to go forward. Mr. The battery is called Gerald. Replace the following company in vehicle battery. The original battery type and battery capacity are going to the vehicle. 90 ampere hour AJ. You see, they can buy one of them. You see it? Right. I'm going to go online and see how much one for them. I'm going to go online and see how much one. But them got something there. Them down the original. What a difference. No, no, no. You can't ride from BMW if you want. If you go for a couple of money, get it. No, 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 no. Nah, not the end of the book, but we have, um, right here, EC, right Charging status Instagram, we can, we can read out that. Tell you. The, the charging status Instagram is reset in the following cases. Programming of the DME or register battery exchange. So when you buy a 90 ampere hour AGM, you have to just go into the service function and install register battery exchange. I'm going to show you each part, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, we'll just close out this right now. We'll just end the test module at all. We can look up all the CID, alright, so go, go to vehicle management, service function. No, we don't, we don't look on it, that, that ACU, the next, yeah, yeah, the next yeah, barcode. Yeah. Later, sir, I'll do that later, wait. I'll show you the voltage supply here, and it go right here. This is the ABL, ABL mean procedure, this is what you run to do that, you know what I mean? Alright, so vehicle management, service function, voltage supply, register battery exchange, okay. Alright, cool. We can click back to troubleshooting and then we can click back here to service plan. We go back here and we can go here to um this is the SSP for um the um CID. That is it right here. Central information display, which is this the screen. That's the one I have there. And so on and so forth. Okay, so we can close this out. And this is CID here again, that is its functional description. All right, let me um. Functional check ABL procedure. All right. Over temperature from from what? Yeah, because it's on all the time. I guess. I mean, I them just make them thing for a because I mean, look how much care I want for them CID and not now overheat. You know, BMW, like the people of them, I have to make the thing them a fool, you know. <laughs> they're not a proper cooling night, man, and they're not a fan installing them, and they probably set up some little, um, some little fin, fin, cooling fin. You know, see, and then that's it. Yeah, that's foolishness. So, all right, question. Let's look up on the top of the screen. It said 13.5 volts, but maybe some set at 14.5 something volts. No, that no, is just the battery voltage show. The battery voltage uh, show. Um, it just the, oh. it, it just a show say it is thirteen and a half man. It just probably show the battery status that it, it being supplied with fourteen point something. So I don't know if one volt or nine ten drop off. You know what I mean, sir? Long as it's a thirteen and a half man. Remember, the set the something the set the the, the voltage stabilizer. Where you tell me at fourteen point four or fourteen point five something like that. You tell me. 
That's why I'm gonna take the more bit stabilizer add. Alright. Maybe the battery I'll go, maybe the battery I'll look. Right. Alright, right, yes, I said welcome light was deactivated. What's welcome light? That's another one though. What is the welcome light? Encodable in um when you open the door I guess. Them light over there the roof. Encode with repetitive okay. slider from 0 to 156. Supply voltage above 10 volt, terminal 30 on, fall code entry of 40. What you talking about that? You should have shut off the card. I like when I'm going on the car to see I'm like, come on. Oh, you can turn that off, I guess. Manipulate the switch, I'm at the FZD there. Yeah. It do it automatically. But you see, you know when I'm going on my car and so it's like if I'm looking at looking and seeing in my car. True, I like that neither. Well, it's a, good, it's a good thing for after work anybody sees your car, then you can see them box yeah. all night. When anybody sees your car, you can see them at night and them things are... <laughs> you, you can make your light turn on your car every time when you go. Because it's a good feature if man who left at night, everybody out of work can sit you with what I go on. <laughs> yeah. You know me love about the car? It's a girl on the passenger side. It open all of the door them. Yeah. It's like we're going to drive and say, like, drive and say, you're alone, it's open, you know. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I said, now, start for update now. We've got some woman. All right, it's a calculator measure plan now. Measure plan meaning that it had dropped up the, the plan to program the ECUs that needed software update, you know? Alright, you want me to program with ECU? Can I show you how to use that? Yes, sir. Alright, let me disconnect from this right here. Break connection. So, hold on. So, you know, hold on. You know, update from the FX, update from the, um... No, something. we can do it two ways. We can do it two ways. We can update from this yeah. side of things, which is the user part, or we can do it from ECU, you know? Okay. Alright, I'm going to manifest out... I'm going to show you both ways, alright? Hello? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll listen. Yeah, well, I'll show you both ways. Cool. You go here, look at iTool radar, the IP address 169.254.721.62. And we go right here and find this file name, ADBS. Or if you change that from standard, we put a number sign right here. Uh oh. We'll come right here, remove that, so that, that line remote read. So we're gonna lock the icon, and then we, um... How about that, 62, 71? 71, 62. All right, and then we'll just click save. All right, then we'll just lock out that. Then we'll just go to boom and... We'll just minimize that and everything. Alright, let me see if let me see if there's any FA save for this car before. Alright, no, no FA save so and so on. The SVT not no save here. And there's no tab. Alright, cool. We're going to um run pro that we're gonna run that. Isis Pro launcher. Alright, you click auto launch here, make it start up automatically. And we wait. We're going to lock the icon, press reserve, okay, cool, we're going to wait until that ESIS fly up on the screen, there you go, boom, then we go here, cal cal calculating, open up that, and then we click right here, that connection monitor here, that thing right there, that little blue thing, two computer screen, connected, and we're going to look for the, um, let us open up the um let's just look for the eye level of the vehicle let's just scroll up to the top and go to the top of this thing here let's just look for the eye level actual the eye level shipment i should say eye level shipment eye shipment um where is it all right here's the eye level eye level 
high level actual is this one. That's the last time the car was updated, right here at 15, 2015 of March. Software version 12 and integration level work is the same thing as ISEV level shipment. This one right here, that is it right here. Right. Yeah. And then we're gonna choose this F10, we're gonna choose F01 right here in ESIS. We're gonna choose that F01, and then we're gonna write the IP address here for um, the ICOM. Oh, a 6172, what's that? Let me check out this. Oh, 7162, what a stupid. 7162, let me make sure it's I. 7162, 7162. All right, we're going to connect now. Should connect. We select the project 1907520. All right, there goes connection established. Now we just click read vehicle order. And this is the vehicle order here. We click activate FA. But before that, we go here expert motor. Expert motor scan tell us we click on VCM right there. Then we go right here master and then we click read ISEF. And it tells us the ISEF right here is for the F01 chassis group is 10, 2010, F09, And then we can go back right here. And we can look right here see the same thing here Boom. that is the ice that is the integration level work work mean i step shipment from factory yeah. all right and then we can also read the fa and the vehicle profile at the same time we can right click here and we can calculate let's see it highlight also this right here let's go to file and we can save um we can save the fa you call it bmw F07 then C33771. We call this FA vehicle order. Alright, we can actually um join those words in no big deal with me. Um let's use that space. Alright, so let's click save and then we go back here. And then we click also the same thing, BMW F07. Then uh, C three three one. We call this FC vehicle profile. Let's save those things. And as you can see, they are saved here. It is the FA. You see, that's it right here. So it look like that is what the FA look like. You see what I mean? Okay. Yeah. Now you can see the VIN number there. Same long VIN. The same VIN is right here. Right here is the VIN as well. All right, boom. So we go back here at comfort mode. Click comfort mode. Click cal calculation. Careful of those lines when you're going out. Yeah, and we click here. Click here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then we go right here. The read VCM. VCM means vehicle configuration management. That is stored in the central gateway. All right. These are all the control units on the car. It tells you we have nine. You have twenty nine control units, and this is the VIN number. SVT means system shoring table or you know system verbal. Twenty nine computer items. Yeah. yeah. Twenty nine computers. Twenty nine yeah. computers. All right, we go right here, click complete flash, and then we go right here, find the uh the ISEP works. ISEP treatment, I think it's twenty oh nine. Ten oh nine five twenty one. This is it right here. Am I right? Let us check again. Here's it. Ten. 09521. We have to click that before we click calculate. After we get that right, we choose this one right here. Um, we choose seven. All right, and then we click calculate. All right, so it's calculating sol. Sol mean reference, meaning that it's referring the latest PSDT data file that is on the computer to write to the control module. Those files will be identified in red. And it will overwrite the ones in the color blue. The blue one are the actual state of files on the car. So whenever SOL is finished calculated, all right, you're going to see that. Um, all right, see that now for the DME, it shows you that we have a coding file, red. This is SOL. All the files in red is SOL, meaning that reference. This is the latest file that is going to overwrite the blue ones, all right? As you can look at the two files here for the DME, 
you can tell here. The process class is CFD file, coding file, data. And you can see that there's some numbering are different, you see? No, 4, 2, and the number, them updated to bigger numbers. Yeah. To bigger number, yes, sir. Very correct, very correct, very correct. All right, so in the meantime now, we're going to, um, we're going to look. We're going to look, 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 look. We're going to use ESIS and do some update of those models. All right, and um, I'm just looking if there's an array element file like these in red. All right, so therefore there's none. So we're going to, we're going to just, if it were in red, if, if, if we had if get array element file like these in red right here, We'd have to select right here, click this one, hardware IDs from SVT actual. I should have used over the same IDs and these IDs will be black. But nevertheless, we just save this one here, we'll click save. We're gonna now save the actual installation table. All right. Yeah. SVT. ISC. Yeah, man. And then we also choose the same year here, here for salt, and then we just change one thing at the end right here. The extension, um, the name of it, and then to salt. Then we just save that. And then we go right here and we calculate tau. All right, tau is finished in no time. So we will call it same as BMW. FO7 and VIN. And this one will be called tau. All right, and then we leave it at that, and then we switch over tab. We click here, expert mode. Then we click tab processing at the top right there, and then we load the file that call itself tab that we just saved. This itemizes all the control models that want to be updated. As you can see them, you see them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let us go to Insta D and look. You see them right here. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You see, Easter D calculate the same thing. Right. Ten control oh, mode. Yeah, right. Maybe just need to ask you if we would execute measures plan. Executing measures plan would do what on this screen? Right. If you're gonna write, it's gonna write the red files. These files right here. Let me show you. Right. These files in red. Right. They're gonna overwrite the blue ones. Right, right. That is what execute measure plan mean. We're gonna do the same thing right. here, like when we go here in expert mode. Style processing here. All right, we're gonna load also now the style that we make for that, cause the two of them have to be compared. And then we click read FA from VCM and there's it. All right. Um, if you click, um, if you click read bin, it's gonna read bin, but it's gonna switch it over to to. It's, it's already that move from read bin. Right. Look, look again. You see that dot. Right. Move over if you click right. if you make a mistake like other people you click read bin. Alright, it's not gonna go through the processes, you know what I mean? It's gonna come up with an exclamation right. mark and so on. Let us check software availability. It says all the SWEs are found. Let us click on the um let us click on the DME right here and let us click start. Alright, watch this watch this error comes up now. I see that. It says a VCM update right. after a tile execution is not possible without a proper FA. See that? That's the, that's this is the exclamation error you get because we have to check this one right here. That right. if we click now, this it's gonna go through. It's come up with that box right there. It show you the right. ISEP shipment at the bottom, and then it show you the last time the car was programmed in 2013 of November. I issue you the current. All right, so that's it. We click finish. That's gonna go through. Um, start to um, flash the DME. All right, process start. Flashing up the DME. We can go here and um, we can go back here. Don't don't. You must not interfere with anything. Just click issue. It's gonna do a software deploy and uh, um. On a CD deploy, it's not gonna do ID restore and ID backup. That is only for the ED unit, all right. So that is why we see that right there. The ED unit is this one here, PIA master on address 63 and so on and so forth. Usually we can write to the CIC via NBT, write to the CIC via um, what do you call it? Via Enet cable. All right, there goes the DME now. The software flash file. Is no been into it and so on. So, all 
All right, let me pause the video for now and just wait. Overwhelmed. I mean, I'm going to find the easiest way to do this because really, it's a kid right now and learn nothing more. Uh, <laughs> it's one $10 check. One more. Yes, but for me, uh, progressive insurance, so them, them are helpful to the situation, so them are giving us um, a April premium credit from the April relief program, 10 bucks. Them kids, After them money all in here for no reason. I mean, I'm in an accident, you know, them just a colleague for me. Yeah. Yeah. Don't stop. And if you give about the money to you in an accident. But it's like when I time and I'm not to the people and say, Well, go on, I don't understand you. Here, I may pay like I pay like friggin' four years straight, no accident, nothing. And me not see no relief, me not see nothing. Mm. And the policy was supposed to drop, was it? Yeah, they're supposed to drop your premium, oh. man. But when I realized with them, like I said, you have to cut out and lift them and go somewhere else. Yeah. And then you understand, come back if you like them. But you have to make them know, say, hey, you're not. You're not the hunger. Keep on the block. Yes, sir. Alright, supposed to be done now, because the coding data are the fastest thing ever written. When it's done, it's gonna done. It's supposed to be done in green. Supposed to be done anytime now. It will be green if not finished with warning. Alright, code cool. finished successfully. We're gonna update VCM now and master security module. Alright. Bloom, bloom, bloom. Actually, thinking that the um, the ISTA P they use the programming. Yes, on on E series cars, E series BMWs and Minis and E series Rolls Royce and E series. Oh, ISTA P and E series. Yeah, it only can do with the F O one and F O two. Oh crap! All right, we're gonna go back to E C U tab. Then we uncheck D M E, and then we uh we check E J S. We're gonna go through with E J S code. We're gonna be the E J S with coding file, and um. We can do more activity like the just the parking brake. We can do the software deploy, and um, we can also update the Z, the um, the SVD. Um, but it's gonna take a, but it's gonna take longer at each one, you know. We'll update the EJS only, and then um, we go forward. Switch over. This should be very quick. Very quick, less than one minute. Blue. Green. Update master security module and blah blah blah. Yes, that's very quick up and check and I need the bottom of car. When we like come and step on the brake, we feel like it chop forward a little bit. So now when I can uh, control arm them. Bad. Yeah, that can be a sign as well. Our bad um, strut mount rubber bushing. But my you the car solid, the car heavy, you know? Yeah, that's like the CM7 series frame is heavy. Mm. We had ton. Alright, that one finished yeah, successfully. Yeah. We're gonna try to program the parking brake. Yes, I saw for a flash drive to ring to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Switch your execution started. Switch your execution finished. Switch your vehicle for flash started. Switch your vehicle for flash finished.
Tiene que ser aquí tú eh. Why can't the crocodile? Wanted to have a battery. do those two um fdd and junction box electronics make your process got a bit faster i, I did fdd our uh, roof function center the, the buttons above the roof right here to control the lights and throw off the um sunroof okay are okay. oh, you remember something like you <laughs> oh then i have to study bmw documents man i study it man i mean I just have to study for no one member them, you know. There's a lot of control money with them about it. They may not remember it. I don't and you know, know what? But all I know, I'm not sure what is so funny, right? Yeah. Like, there are some things that are in a memory. But like, somebody will ask me something. And I can't tell them exactly what for the way 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 for Minds are complex, you know. Yeah. Do you remember someone hard and complex, but something simply don't remember. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm already using the same thing I eat, I don't know what I'm saying. But what's 
Sam changed the relay. Hmm? He changed the relay, right? No. He pulled it up. He started it. And restarted all that time. Get yeah, ready again. But him good. Him, I had him and him good contact. You know? Yo. Me, you see, them cut out. Me, the back car. When I buy the car, them cut out the radio. And the wire them cut we don't know how they cook well enough. Yeah. And me don't know how you put three man in there and start all of them ready. <laughs> yeah. That's true, man. But all right. Listen. You man get a Mazda. to catch a fire and burn up the whole wire. Burn up the wire on it. Yeah. And the man is still on the wire on it. Yeah. 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 That's the cheapest man, but he's not going to get a new wire artist. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Think, think about it. A master wire artist. How, how long is that going to take you? Um, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> hours. No, 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 Yes, I'm still here, Jamaica, no? Yes, I'm Jamaica, and I try to come back up, and I don't know why. You know, you know where I don't know why. Well, when all of this crap finish, I drive come down to Florida, my youth. Yeah. So, call us the link up. We're going to drink some lemonade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't remember meet your daughter. Yeah, then when I get at the house, man, you have to come there, come see, see the where we are growing in the backyard. You like mango? What do you mean, you, especially for East Indian or Blackie? <laughs> No, but we have a mango tree in the yard, the boy, we don't do it, it's a strange mango tree. Okay. But it's sweet. Yeah. Sweet, and when it's a beer, it's beer enough. And some of them big. And we have a neighbor next door, we have like about three mango trees, but if we don't go over, they go pick that, they're my wife, and they don't know nothing about mango. Wow. DCM update, boom. Answered LMD by Enter. And then VGM now to leave for doing it. VGM last one to be doing it. Saying that bit be the first one, make, make it be the last. Or the zero one, because it does make sense. I think it's the same thing here on Ister. On Ister B. See that? The VGM is the last one. Are they? Know that if that model go down, the car has to screw. So they program all the other control models first, then do the VGM last. Makes sense. It's almost finished. So I've already applied 100% already. And other spend. Whoa, whoa, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Finish now. Switchboard, microprocessor control, by information to the zero and zero and zero. Oh, a machine language. 
All right, this is about it. I'm gonna copy this style list right here. I'm gonna copy this and paste it right. Let's clear this clear log. Let's go back here and check the GVW. Alright, everything is clear to go back here. Comfort mode and tab. I will click read VCM. All those software should become in all these things in red should become black, I guess. And there they are. Right, there they are. Blum blum blum. Alright, that's it. Maybe you need CIC. It's okay, everything alright. Okay. Alright, I finished flash that. So we're going to um okay, oh guy, he doesn't call me back as now. Let me let me see now. Alright, these control modes are updated. Let me close out this right here. Close this operation. All right, we can go to here, external application. Right click that and click execute. And there are certain things that we can read. We can read active diagnostic session, blah, blah, blah. Read backup SVK1, SVK2, and 3. We can read when. Click connect. And click send. I disconnect that. Alright, let us go back here. This is all crap, so nobody deal with me. Alrighty then. So YouTubers, let us check on Ista now. Ista is free. So we're gonna release I we're gonna re release the icon free. And then we're gonna run this. First of all we can disconnect from that. Now we can minimize that. Then we can complete identification of the people now. Alright. So you can close that. Boom. Should have some fall codes there. A lot of fall codes. Over 100. We're going to remove those fall codes and then everything should come back green. Except for the FRM and the JBE. Alright, or the CID. So we just pause the video for now and wait. Got it, Tanisha. Walk on. All right, all right. We're gonna look at the file code by click display file code memory, and we wait. The transfer mode is active in the CID, and transfer mode is active in the IHA and so on. And there are what now? It said no current coding data is stored in the software versus the camera, but you know we have programmed that. 
So we expect Falcos to come up for it. All right, transfer Moody Sterling controller and so on. There's a lot of Falcos here, so um, let me see now if I can call my boy. I never call him back. I want to him, man. Mr. Burt now calling on. I want to do it. Whoop. Hey, kid. All right. All right. I'm going to delete the fault members from this. We're gonna do the farm members and let's just see what return. Mr. BMW X S fifteen certified by Ama Germany. BMW Dallas Farm with the world of transfer team power. All right, we have three fall codes remaining, one in EGS. All right, it says right here, actual break-in tour is gone. Okay, when the car is driven, that will be going away. The CID is switched out because of this right here, over temperature and so on. That's all we have here. All right, so we can go back to um that. All right, so I do not know how my boy going to call me now. Oh, man, I thought I should get. Please leave your message for five, six, one. All right, team, team's busy. All right, YouTubers. All right, I think I come to the end of this car programming this four seven four, my friend, Errol. North Carolina, so um, we're gonna end this session right now and upload this video on YouTube. All right, thanks for viewing my channel and have a nice day from BMW Programming and Encoding. I am out.